In this video we are going to take a look at another unique model of the Death Watch, the Black Shield. Black what? Worry not, we will start off with a bit of lore and the origins of the Black Shields in the Death Watch. Then we will continue with their datasheet, special abilities and how to make best use of them in a Death Watch army. As we will soon discover, there have been several significant changes when compared to 8th edition. Lastly, there will be some modeling recommendations and a quick wrap up. Welcome to Swiss Hammer, your channel for modeling in Warhammer 40k. My name is Temmer and I will be guiding you through this video. First and most importantly, there are black shields, one word, and black shields, two separate words, in the Warhammer 40k universe. This can sometimes cause a bit of confusion. Black shields written as a single word are tied to the Horus Heresy area and refer to space marine outcasts or of otherwise uncertain origin. In this video, however, we are looking into the Black Shields, two words, of the Death Watch, which are space marines who severed bonds with their former chapter. They petition to be recruited into the Death Watch and serve until a time when they believe that they have redeemed themselves and are worthy of carrying their chapter colors again. While in the Death Watch they display no chapter heraldry and it's not uncommon that even the Watch Commander does not know from which chapter they originally come from. In a Death Watch army, one Black Shield can be included in every Death Watch veteran squad or Proteus kill team. There is an error in the printed Death Watch supplement which does not list the Black Shield as an option for a Proteus kill team. This oversight did however get fixed in the December Death Watch FAQ. But this printing error aside, let's take a look at what the Black Shield actually has to offer. In his base profile, a black shield has the extra attack over a veteran that usually only the sergeant gets, as well as an amazing weapon skill of 2 plus. It gets even better though. If a black shield is equipped with two close combat weapons, his attack's characteristic increases to 4. Weapon skill 2 plus and 4 base attacks is the close combat profile of a space marine captain or a company champion. For 25 base points, that's crazily good. The rest of his profile is basically that of a Death Watch veteran, which is excellent to begin with. This also means that the Black Shield get access to a huge range of equipment that the Death Watch veterans get. So what equipment is best on a Black Shield? Two close combat weapons of course, you might say. And that is certainly a viable option, giving us that extra attack on the base profile. Taking a Lightning Claw, for instance, is a great pick, because of his weapon skill of 2+. Another thing to consider, though, is that this makes him an ideal candidate for taking a Power Fist or a Thunder Hammer with their default hit penalty. A Black Shield will basically negate the penalty when compared to a regular veteran. That's not all, though. As far as I'm concerned, there are two more considerations to take that do not involve two close combat weapons. The first is the heavy thunder hammer. While we commonly see this being used in Vanguard veteran squads, this one on a black shield means that just as with the power fist or the regular thunder hammer, the hit penalty will be negated. Amazing and well worth losing the extra attack. Another consideration is to give him the mentioned Power Fist or Thunder Hammer to make use of the 2 plus weapon skill, but then take a Storm Shield as the second pick. Depending on the exact squad setup, it is likely that you want to remove the Black Shield as late as possible, even after the Sergeant, and the Storm Shield helps to ensure that he can stay in the fight for as long as possible. This is especially something to consider with an aggressive playstyle, and if you suspect that this particular squad will likely get destroyed destroyed over the course of the match. Speaking of squad compositions, this brings us to one important change. Or perhaps it is better to talk about the nerf when compared to 8th edition. The minimum number of required Death Watch veterans in both a Death Watch veteran squad or a Proteus scale team is always 4 plus the sergeant. Previously, 
a black shield could replace one of those four death watch weapons. Due to this change, a unit containing a black shield will now always be at least six models before adding anything extra. In a Death Watch veteran squad, this difference is rather insignificant. If you wanted a squad of five, you can just fill up with wets to the max of ten models and then use combat squads to achieve a similar result. However, in a Proteus kill team, things become a bit more complicated. Due to the huge range of different models available to this particular kill team, there are multiple scenarios where you need the additional 5 slots for something else in order to make the desired combat squads work. Two popular examples are adding 5 Terminators to deploy them with Teleport Strike or adding a mix of veteran bikers and vanguard veterans with jump packs, which both share great mobility. Under these circumstances, adding a black shield is no longer a viable option. This means that the black shield in a Proteus kill team is best used in either a completely mixed unit that doesn't make use of combat squads and or one where additional deployment or movement options are not an issue. For more information on the Proteus kill team and how to make best use of mixed units, check out my guides linked in the description. If you are not sold on the black shield at this point, there is one more thing to mention, namely a strategy. Atonement through honor. This is a 1 CP stratagem to be used during your opponent's charge phase. Select one Death Watch unit from your army that contains a black shield. That unit can perform a heroic intervention this phase as if it were a character unit. So basically, your Proteus kill team, consisting out of a bunch of Terminators, Vanguard veterans and whatnot, can now also heroically intervene thanks to the Black Shield. Not bad at all. Last but not least, here are some modeling recommendations. There is an official Black Shield model available through the Death Watch Kill Team box containing the five veterans. Basically, instead of building a regular Death Watch veteran, you can build the Black Shield instead. He comes with a fancy cape and some extra shoulder pads. Speaking of which, it is of course perfectly possible to kit bash your own black shield with cool looking veteran bits from various other kits. But due to the lore element, I would recommend to not display any chapter heraldry. Another thing to consider is of course magnetizing the weapons. As previously covered, there are plenty of viable loadouts for a black shield. To wrap things up, black shields serve in the death watch as some sort of self-inflicted penance and often the chapter they come from is unknown. Any death watch veteran squad or a Proteus kill team can include a single black shield. Unfortunately though, the Black Shield can no longer replace one of the original four Death Watch veterans contained in the unit, which can be a bit of an inconvenience when trying to work with combat squads. This light nerf aside, the Black Shield comes with an impressive profile of weapon skill 2 plus and an extra attack over the standard Death Watch veterans. When equipped with two close combat weapons, that attack profile gets another attack. This basically puts him at the close combat profile, matching that of a Space Marine Captain or a Company Champion. A Black Shield has access to a huge range of equipment. Double close combat weapons work well because of the mentioned extra attack. Also, equipping a Power Fist or a Thunder Hammer goes particularly well because of his weapon skill of 2+. He can basically negate the hit penalty over a regular Death Watch veteran. Another thing to consider though is skipping the extra attack and instead equipping either a heavy thunder hammer or a regular thunder hammer or a power fist and using a storm shield as a second pick instead. Another great advantage of the black shield is the atonement through honor stratagem which enables the whole unit with the black shield to heroically intervene just as if they were a character. Close combat kitted Proteus kill team says hello. Last but not least, while an optional Black Shield model is included in the default Death Watch Kill Team box, he can also easily be kit bashed with some cool looking veteran bits. Because of his various viable loadouts, magnetizing the weapons is recommended. So that's it for the Black Shields in the Death Watch. Have you guys been using any in 9th edition yet? And what kind of loadouts are you using on them? Let me know in the comments. 
I would also like to mention that I have freshly launched the Swiss Hammer Facebook page, where I will be posting links to my videos as well as articles I find of interest. I do read a lot about the hobby, but not all of it will always end up as its own video. I look forward to seeing you there as well. I do also have a Patreon page. If you like my content, any additional support is greatly appreciated. It helps me invest into future videos. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Your continued support is greatly appreciated. I hope you have been enjoying this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks again, and see you next time.